That's yeah. why I like the Richard Scarry books because mm -hmm. you can like, do you, are those, do you know those books? I don't know. Oh, what, what they're are, like, maybe I'm dating myself. They were like before your time. No, they're not. We're I'm like gonna the get same those age. for you now. No, we're not the same age. But yes, we're, we I'm are. gonna get those books for you. And, um, and. What? I know, I'm 51 I'm, in like a couple days. What? Yeah. <laughs> Literally my exact age. What do fountain exact... are you oh, drinking from? I don't know. It's not. Oh it's my a lot gosh. Of and people helping me. Congratulations. Right oh, thank you. I mean, on the book yes. and all the things, but like but, more on that. Oh. Like, that's great. <laughs> Congratulations. Wait, did you thank see your you birthday's Kelly. coming up? Yeah, May 30th. Oh, that's yep. exciting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So. Oh, you get trumped by Memorial Day every year. <laughs> that's that weekend, right? Yeah. I used to always. Yeah. 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 And, oh I, and because it's a holiday weekend, I always was gigging and working on. And even when you were young, people were probably out with their families for birthday parties. Yeah, nobody parties. wanted. It's a big summer week. I kind of took it negative. Your birthday. I don't know why I did that. I don't know. That's <laughs> it is your negative. birthday. It's is so awesome. <laughs> um, no, I just had. I literally this whole time thought we were exactly the same. Well, age. I'm flattered. So you once said that the scariest part of performing is like the three seconds, like right before the curtain. Did I say of, that? Probably. Did you? Yeah. Are, so you do. I, I, it's amazing because you're you so have talented. that kind of stuff. Here's the thing. I think when I was very, I've never been like stage for, or I've never had like that kind of nerves, but like I, I grew up seeing classical stuff, so you have to be perfect and all those other, like That's any, how I feel, and with the theater community as well. You have they, to be perfect, and yeah. so, but it started taking the joy away from me, and this one night, it was actually funny, it was in Australia, like this random show, and I, I was miserable, and I was like, because I had focused on these minor things that uh -huh. I just didn't nail, like vocally, and it, and, and then I noticed the joy of like singing was like leaving me. Leaving all. Yeah, uh -huh. and so then it's interesting. I, I, I was like, you know what? Like whatever. Like I'm gonna sound like soulful and pitchy sometimes. It's gonna be fine and whatever. And I feel like my voice got better. I feel like I became better you were because you got out of your relaxed. head. Yeah, yeah, but do you get that? I found, oh my god, I get so in my head, and I feel like the older I'm getting, I'm getting a little bit more. Um, Neurotic. Um, really? I don't know if that's with success and social media and feeling like the lens is on me. Always, and, yeah. But um, but they're on you for a reason. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, they're, they're I not know, on you I just I can't. Suck. I'm not gonna. Like, I'm not gonna lie. Like I just. I do. I. I, I know a lot I, of my friends in the industry. They get nervous. Know, but it's I will thing. say that becoming a mom helped me um, because yeah. I felt the need to be perfect was not as crazy, like. Um, it's not the most important thing now. It's not, I mean, yeah. if my son has a fever, I'm not gonna not be with him in the middle of the night before was, I have to get up. So then I'd get exactly. on stage and I'd be like, you screw it up tonight? Well, whatever, you had to make a yes. choice. So if you don't hit that big note, you know, that's big deal. That's me too, yeah, that's, that's me too, but then you just alter the melody. And then the it was melody. better. Yeah, and you yeah. alter the melody. Yeah, yeah, you have to alter the melody, you have to handle it. My band will tell you right now, they, I am the queen of walking in and going, Oh, it's so interesting. Are we gonna lower this? <laughs> Are we gonna? Oh, yeah, just keep going. Or, or like sometimes I have to take it up. It's just wherever your voice is, exactly. like whatever. I I alter melodies. I change. Me too. I, you have to. Like I if have you're a, a thing called singer. the ABC performance. So. Um, especially when I'm doing like eight shows a week, if you're really tired yeah. and stuff. I've decided there's a show, which is the stuff that the composer really wants you to hit when the critics are there. Yeah. And then you come up with a couple alternate melodies that no one would even know that you change. Exactly. But in your head, psychologically, you feel like you're failing yourself because you're getting sick and you think, oh, I can't. But if you just give yourself this particular yeah. thing and then you nail that B show or C show in yeah. a beautiful way with all of your heart, people feel just as much and you 100%. don't feel completely devastated that you didn't hit Hit some high note for people, you know? Because you're not, you're human and it's a muscle, by the by. So, yeah. Yes, um, <laughs> but you're fabulous, so you should always remember that. So, Thank those you. three seconds, Sorry, just yeah. think of me saying you're awesome. I um, will. That's, <laughs> before. that's what I was going to say. I was thinking three <laughs> seconds before, well, I just imagine I'm Kelly Clarkson. <laughs> no, imagine you're you and I'm just sitting there like, so no matter if you suck, you're still going to be awesome. Just I'm so going you know, like, to think that. Yeah, Thank you should you. think that. I'm just saying.